remember me from previous videos, but I'm Jules. I hope everyone is enjoying the museum sketchbook series so far. Today, we're going to look at some of the elements of art and design. Our sketchbook prompt is inspired by Henry Pearson, a painter who explored the use of line, color, and space through his art. Henry Pearson was an American painter whose work is considered to have both abstract and modernistic qualities. His work is largely influenced by Japanese art and theater due to his time being stationed in Japan during World War II when he served in the United States Army Air Corps. His work explores the concepts of movement and space through his unique uses of color, line, space, and contrast. The pieces in the Palmer's collection, including Kublai Khan I, Sacred River, Angular Deviation Number 15, some sketchbook pages, and Number 4, 1967, all display various combinations of line and color that create visually pleasing designs, as well as implications of movement, sometimes resembling optical illusions. Pearson's work is also featured in both the Modern Museum of Art and the Metropolitan Museum of Art. This week, our sketchbook prompt is to design your own unique combination of line, color, and space and use it to fill a page or spread in your sketchbook. Use Pearson's work as reference or inspiration. We want to think about movement, so try to demonstrate this through line, color, and all of the elements that you choose to use. I started off my sketchbook by using a bowl to trace a circle because I knew I wanted to do something with the circle using color. I then used my Micron pens to start filling in lines. I usually always start with a pencil sketch when I'm sketching, but I really wanted to just feel free while I was doing this and kind of just go with the movement as I was drawing. I started with just drawing some shapes and then filling those in with lines and they got smaller as I went along, sort of filling the whole page with different shapes and lines. And I made the lines really small, which I kind of regretted whenever I was going back into color, but I'm really happy with all the movement that was going on in the page. So check back whenever I start adding some color and finish the page with all of the lines. For this sketch prompt, I decided to pencil out my lines first, so I had an idea about how I could fill my page. I went over my lines with a micron pen to make them more defined, and then I chose three colors to line each section with, then color matched my markers with watercolor and filled in the rest of the page. My colors bled a little bit because of the water, but I still really like how it turned out. This prompt was really fun, and I'll probably do a few more. For this prompt, I was really inspired by how Henry Pearson's lines are very responsive to one another. So I started making different shapes and filling them in as they kind of flowed between each other. I allowed the shapes to kind of create themselves by filling in the negative space. I just made line work that kind of undulated out from one another and began filling in with markers. When I color, I don't like to be too precious with my line work, so you'll notice that there are some gaps or messiness or outside the lines, which is fine with me. I actually kind of like how that looks. I filled in some different colors, just kind of intuitively what I thought would look good at the time. And then I decided to cut out a circle using some paper and um, scissors. That just created sort of a contrasting shape to go off of and outlined the piece. Hi, this is Jules again. You can see here that I finished doing all of my black lines and started filling in with color. I used the circle um, to kind of make the colors darker so that it would stand out a little bit in the middle. So I filled in all of the outside lines with a lighter color and then went in on the circle with a darker color. So I would do light purple on the outside of the circle and then a dark purple on the inside of the circle. It took me a really long time to fill in all the lines because they were really skinny. So I used yellow and orange, green, purple, blue, um, and pink. And I was really excited about the way it was turning out while I was coloring it. And I can't wait to see what it looks like when I'm finished with it. I printed out a reference image of the painting by Henry Pearson to glue into my sketchbook. It's called Number 4 from 1967, and it's ink and watercolor on paper. I used my microliner pen to draw the lines that spread out in layers across the page. 
I liked how Pearson used lighter colors near the center that transitioned to darker colors and then back to light because it gives a sense of movement like waves. I did that too, but overall I wanted to choose brighter colors. I found this to be a simple and fun page. I liked creating the splash of color that had some structure because of the lines and it was low stress and very calming. So as you can see, I'm starting out with a circle shape that I drew in a novel that I'm repurposing as a sketchbook. Um, I like to work in watercolor and so I just lightly drew out some shapes. I live at the base of Lake Huron. That's where home is for me and family is for me. So my sense of movement is actually going to be uh, influenced by movement of water. So as I'm going through, you can see just how I like to incorporate some of those curls and curves of wave movements and wave shapes. I like circles. They kind of remind me of the eternalness of love and life and family. And so I, I decided to have my out, outer shape a circle. And I'm just taking just various shapes of blue and water and I'm painting in my shape. So as you see, I just kind of have that finished shape that's influenced by our artist of the week. I have my circle shape and I've kind of influenced that sense of movement by making it look like water and splashing. And on the outside, I'm just having fun, just doodling and having a good time. This is Jules and I'm finishing up my sketchbook page. As you can see, I've made a lot of progress with filling in all of my lines with color. Even though this process took me a really long time, it was very relaxing and it was a really good way to spend my morning. As you can see, the middle is a lot darker than the outside, but all the lines follow, and the lines are the same color in the inside, just a shade or two darker. I really, really loved doing this sketchbook page. Like I said, it was really relaxing, and I was super excited about the way it turned out. I'm definitely going to do one of these again, and maybe try using different colors or even black and white. I also want to try doing something smaller with maybe a different shape. I really loved this activity. I was excited to learn about Henry Pearson's work.